so it is, of course, the uh, the week after Thanksgiving, the weekend it after. It is. It is post Turkey, post Black Friday. Black Friday, which is, of course, something rather special for our show. It's the day where we, af- the day after we express gratitude for what we have, where we get up at the crack of dawn to go beat other people up to get more. Let's get the intro going. Where are you? There we go. Each week, Catherine, the Radio Dead Air audience, go out in the worldwide interwebs, find all sorts of horrible things, and bring them back here for a little segment we like to call What the Fuck is Wrong with You? But before we get to the Black Friday Follies, and a little bit of an asterisk on those, no less, uh, I do want to mention another little seasonal thing that, that we discussed. Um, this, is, this has been brought up for a couple of years now. The Christmas goat. Oh, yeah. The Swedish Christmas goat. That keeps getting burned down? That keeps getting burned down. Um, This is, uh, for those of you just joining us for the first time on this one, there is a tradition in uh, in Stockholm, Sweden, where they build the Yule goat, which uh, in uh, Galvli, I believe is how it's pronounced. And it was supposed to be a giant decorative festive occasion for everyone. And then along the way, people decided to just set it on fire because assholes. And it became this sort of weird Thank arms for race. Peggy's dinner, Dottie. I'm sure she appreciates that. It became this sort of weird arms race where the people would try to keep the goat from being set on fire. And other people would try to set the goat on fire. It has been set on fire and burned down more years than it has survived. They've been doing this for 50 years with this fucking goat. And this year, here's our update. It didn't even last a day. Wow. Really big Cubs fans in Sweden. For the past, I, I got that one. Like, like three people are going to get that joke. For the past few years, it's managed to at least make it close to Christmas. But this year, nope. Boom. Immediately, they burned it the fuck down. I forget why they put up a Christmas goat. Do we know? I, I'm not entirely sure. I, I, feel like we, I feel like we knew at one point. I think it is it's an offering to the god of futility. <laughs> yes, that must be it. Perhaps they should try building the goat out of something less flammable than hay. They have done that, and those years it did not burn down. Like, but they consider it not traditional, so they build it out of straw anyway. Maybe they should just erect a big golden calf next year. I think Jesus would love that. Yeah, I do too. Okay, so now we're on to Black Friday, and... I've got to point out, there was much less Black Friday issues this year. Well, because Black Friday started at noon on Thanksgiving now. In part, it's just far less of this stuff going on. You say it's because that, but also online shopping was up by over way a yep. uh, much l- greater ratio than last year. And of course, everyone is already dismayed and... Disappointed yeah. due to the fact that we're about to be ruled by a gibbering imbecile. Everybody's kind of too shell shocked to fight yeah. over TV. <laughs> but it just doesn't seem that important anymore. But that didn't stop some various and sundry nonsense like this from Modesto, California. And uh, let's get because, hey, guess what, guys? We got video. Uh, where is that video? Just had it. Come on. I saw a video of Canadian Black Friday, which was like very polite. And all the customers entered single file and it was very orderly. And then it occurred to me, Canadian Thanksgiving is at a totally different time. Why do they have Black Friday? I don't know. Why do they do Black Friday? Their Thanksgiving is like a totally different, but okay. 
This happened in Modesto, California. Not everyone was at the holiday spirit. Turn it down a little bit, because it's quite loud. We're at the Vintage Fair Mall in Modesto on Thursday night. Video of a fight in the mall had been going viral Friday morning. Mall opened at 6 p.m. on Thanksgiving Day, a day before Black Friday. At least two videos of the fight have been spreading on Twitter and YouTube. Police were not called during the fight, did not receive any reports afterward of people being injured. Holy shit! They are just going ham on that. God damn. Mall spokesman Annie uh, Inez said the incident was resolved quickly with the help of mall security. What the fuck are you doing? Why? This, why are the mall you... I used to work at when I lived in Connecticut um, was put on lockdown one Black Friday because a bunch like the whole the whole food court broke out in a brawl and some idiot yelled gun. And so the mall went into lockdown and active shooter and all this stuff. And like, as luck would have it, I had worked 11 p.m. Thanksgiving to like 8 a.m. So I had been off all day and I came in at like nine o'clock at night when it was supposed to be dead. And they were like, yeah, the mall just opened again like half an hour ago. <laughs> Why would you do this? Why would you ever do that? Why would you throw down in front of the J.C. Pennies? Because people are fucking horrible. But come on, no one looks cool fighting in J.C. Pennies. You could have John, we could have a brand new Die Hard and put John McClane in Die Hard in a J.C. Pennies. No one would watch that fucking movie because it would be awful. Didn't we call that Paul Blart? <laughs> And no one watched that movie because it was awful. My ex-husband made me watch that movie about 20 times. And that's he what, loved that movie. That says so much about why he's your ex-husband. I, I just, what the fuck are you doing? It's the day, you just had Thanksgiving. Yeah. And now you go to the mall to start some shit? Yeah. It's like there's a rule in retail that Sundays... You get all the post church crowd are the biggest assholes. They're horrible. All the people that go to church and then come to the mall, and we figure the, the common prevailing theory is that they go to church and they figure that's their thing. They've done their good thing, so now they can come be assholes to the to the fucking plebes that work at the mall. Yeah, because God's God's transactional. That's how that works. Sure. Yeah. That's you've totally how that works. Your, you've bought off your carbon credits for the week, so to okay, speak. Okay, you're fine. But that wasn't the only one. And again, I want to relate that both of these events had nothing to do with shopping. Teens charge in Black Friday brawl at Chesterfield Town Center. This is in Virginia. This is across the goddamn country. Three teenagers were charged in connection with a Friday night brawl at Chesterfield Town Center. While Friday was Black Friday, one of the busiest shopping one of the busiest shopping days of the year. The fight was not over a sale item. A 15-year-old and an 18-year-old got into a fight over, quote, words exchanged about girls they were with. As a crowd of friends surrounded the fighting teens, mall security called an off-duty police officer for help. Responding officers grabbed the teens by their wrists and struggled with them on the floor. An 18-year-old, a 15-year-old, and a friend of the 15-year-old were charged with disorderly conduct. Why are you... Really? I honestly think, like, think about it. You put a whole bunch of people, as many as you can possibly safely cram, into a hot, crowded mecca of commerce. They haven't slept enough because they got up at the crack of dawn to get some cheap fucking performance fleece at the Old Navy. And it's hot and it's crowded and there's an hour-long line for a fucking Orange Julius. And shit just goes zombie apocalypse it really does actually i'm thinking it's kind of like you know how over the years we kind of forget why we do things on on a holiday like with easter we we hide eggs and a bunny brings us eggs and we well, hide them that's because jesus left a trail of eggs so they could find him in the tomb it's kind of like we start so it was a bunny that found him 
if we start celebrating these things and performing these, you know, go through all these traditions without knowing why, I think these fights on Black Friday are because we've been bashing each other over the head to buy TVs. Now we just get to Black Friday and people are fighting because, well, it's Black Friday. It's programmed into us now. Yeah, it's, it's well, it's what we do on Black Friday. We don't know why. We used to know why, but now we just do it. I think it's just like, I don't know if you've ever been in a mall on Black Friday. No, not for years. Not for years and years. I mean, it's God, no. Miserable. You, and you couldn't I pay me. Like, no matter how high they crank the AC, it's too hot. You can't, like, it takes forever to get anything to eat. Like, it's, it's everything that makes people annoyed and aggressive. <laughs> we just. I want Tara's Bible. <laughs> No, you don't. I'm. I, I, I'm pretty sure if I wrote my own Bible, I'd be excommunicated so fast. I'm. I'm starting to think that even if the Black Friday tradition dies off due to online sales and stuff, people will still just show up the day after Thanksgiving and just beat the fuck out of one another. Well, that'll be the day President Trump makes the purge. Okay. All right. That makes sense. Actually, yeah. it's a good day for it. We have more holiday nonsense. This is, jeez, oh, fuck me. Get ready to cringe a little bit, because this is just messed up. And the guy involved. What is wrong with you? What the fuck, man? North Texas man accused of giving out porn to trick-or-treaters. Damn it, Dan. I leave you to do trick or treat one time. <laughs> Boyd, Texas. We may be days away from Thanksgiving, but on Hit Street in Boyd, the talk is about what happened on Halloween. Um, 32 year old Brad Collins says, I believe these allegations are being brought way out of proportion. Collins said he was helping his neighbors pass out Bible verses during Halloween. The event was, is a 25-year-old tradition in the in Wise County town where police close the street so thousands of children can trick-or-treat safely. He was helping us pass out Bible tracts and Bible stories and wanted to do something to give a little more. Which, Come. by the way, is a terrible thing to give kids on Halloween. Oh, God, yes. I have no problem with organized religion, but uh, that's not... God. Oh, what happened? Stop Auto that. Play. Stop that. Stop it. Hang on. There you go. Oh, no, stop it. <laughs> okay. Sorry. <sighs> that's that's not a good Halloween treat. Colin said he thought he was he thought giving out burned DVDs he'd acquired would do the tr the trick. Quote, I told everyone to check them before they let their kids watch them. Just for the fact I wasn't sure exactly what could be on there. It could be World of Warcraft. It could be Happy Gilmore. I didn't know. Where do you get a bunch of burned DVDs that you well, don't know what's on them? First off, congratulations. The MPAA is going to sue you into non-existence. Yeah. Because they don't like when you do that. What you're doing there, that's viol That's a copyright infringement yeah. that's that's actually that's one of those ones you might go to jail over they don't like when you do that but parents did check them and went to the police they discovered there was graphic pornographic uh material on there uh police officer ryan Irwin said of the dozens of dvds police collected from the trick-or-treating six were triple x rated videos that police say collins gave to kids were they at least Halloween themed? <laughs> David Pumpin' Pumpkins? Huh? Yeah. Huh? Like candy yeah. themed? Like Baby Ruth's Payday Money Shot? <laughs> oh, Henry Harder? Uh, Collins, who has since been bonded out, didn't want to discuss where he got the DVDs, but said he wouldn't have given them out if he'd known there was porn. He's a father himself, he said. There's no bad intent involved in it, Collins said. Yeah, look at this dork. Just look at the gormless look on this, this, this 
doofy motherfucker. <laughs> it's it, just just get candy. Candy, just give out candy. You don't it's, know it's what's on the DVD, but you just handed them out. It's all on fucking sale. Just give out candy. How do you do that? Fuck's sake, whenever I'm around kids, I have to watch myself very distinctly not to start dropping F-bombs at every given occasion. And it takes some effort, let me tell you. But I do that because... I am not that child's parent. I am not responsible for that little talking monkey. It's not my, it, it, I'm not responsible for it. But the people who are might get a little angry if I usurp their responsibility by making choices for the little talking monkey. They don't like it when you do that. What? What are you? I just, the absurdity of this. Like, I, I, I don't know what's on this here. You ha it just might be Happy Gilmore. Have fun, kid. Happy Halloween. How do you not check the motherfuckers? Might be Gappy Happy Gilmore. Might be Backdoor Sluts 9. Uh, didn't I dress up as Unicorn Halloween for the express purpose of freaking out parents? Yes. But, but you didn't hand out porn. Yeah, freaking out parents is one thing. They can't sue me for freaking them out. The kids would have thought it was hilarious. You weren't handing out video of that guy getting his colon perforated by a horse. What? I mean, Jesus Christ. This fucking, this fucking guy. This fucking guy. Um, well, now let's move on to just some regular old stupid. This one comes to us from uh, Milton. I believe this is in the UK. What? Sorry, I just... <laughs> you remember the scene from It's the Great Pumpkin, Charlie Brown? <laughs> oh, I got, I got a Snickers. I got, I got a, a Baby Ruth. I got porn. <laughs> I actually, you know what? I, I, let's see, where is it? Uh... Yeah, yeah, it's it's this. I I had the, the while back. I did. The, I I I changed it around. It's I got a cock. <laughs> there you go. There you go. I got a cock. Ah. Uh, so let's move on to Milton. I believe this is in the UK. If I'm not, yeah, this is in the UK. Um. I hear a kitten, but I don't see a kitten. Or you're being sneaky. There's, there are some basic rules when it comes to dealing with flammable things. And the first basic rule is keep it away from fire. That That's like, that's day one shit. That is, that is day one. However, nope. Pensioner escapes injury after Milton house fire sparked by nail polish remover and cigarettes. Oh, acetone is so flammable. An elderly man escaped injury after a fire was accidentally sparked in his home. The fire was caused by someone else in the house who had been using acetone to clean items while using a hairdryer and smoking. What were you using to clean? What were you, what were you cleaning with acetone besides your nails? I don't know, but using acetone and a hairdryer. Hairdryer is bad enough already. Yeah. Those things are fire starters. They put out very high volumes of hot air in a directed area. That's why most hairdryers you see, they have those funnel things you can put on the end to direct the air. Because otherwise, it builds up in a specific spot, and you can cause fires with a hairdryer in certain conditions. Yeah. Not only that, there are these nice little red-hot coils inside yep. the hairdryer that, if vapor fumes hit them, kablooey! Yeah. But just and acetone does not fuck around. And as if just using the hairdryer wasn't enough to top it off, it's almost as if he went, you know what? Let's, let's go all in. And he lit a cigarette, too. 
firefighters. Make sure you tell Dan not to touch the nail polish with his lighter. He was he was a chemical biological weapon specialist in the army. He he is well acquainted with all things fire. And apparently, suddenly, all of a sudden, your audio problems resolve themselves. What the hell? You just got super loud all of a sudden. Okay. So now I have to turn everything back down. Fuck. Anyway. Sorry. Not your fault. Anyway. I mean, this is like those people you see at the gas pump with a cigarette in their mouth. Yeah. Like, it's not a problem. I'm really stuck on the cleaning the house with acetone. Because, like, y'all know, I got a I got a four-foot rolling cart of nail polish on the other side of this room. Like, I don't fuck around with my nail polish. And I always have, like, three or four bottles of nail polish remover hanging around. Because I never remember if I'm out of it or not, so I just buy more. But, but I keep it inside the little rolling cart, away from the cats. I, I, <laughs> away from fire. Nobody was really hurt, but... The house go bye bye. That's what ha it's not one of the, you don't get do overs on this shit. You no. fuck up. It's it's an issue. It's a persistent issue. Don't don't read labels. I mean, technically, yes, the house is clean now. <laughs> you had a lovely cleansing fire. Yeah, fire does cleanse. You you won't need the acetone anymore. That shit's about as clean as it gets. Yeah. You've broken it down to component atoms. Acetone is not a cleaning item. Uh, well, let's... I fucking ate the finish off a coffee table once because I spilled nail polish remover on it. Let's move on to Ontario, Canada. All right. This is what this is yet another edition of kids are very are smarter than you think. And you have to watch the little bastards like and hawks. Always listening. Especially when you think they're not. Oh, 11 year old caught driving on Ontario Highway after night playing Grand Theft Auto. Oh, see, this would be my nephew, Patrick. An 11 year old was caught on Ontario's Highway 400 Saturday after a night of playing GTA, according to Sheriff Kerry Schmidt of the uh, Ontario Police Patrol's Highway Who's Safety. Your 11 year old play GTA. I know. That's not uh, an appropriate game for an 11 year old. Police received reports about an erratic moving vehicle just north of Toronto. Drivers called in thinking possibly it was an impaired driver because the vehicle was all over the highway. Because um, he can't reach the pedals and steer at the same time. The vehicle was first going under the speed limit, like half the speed limit, Schmidt said. <laughs> I, I could just imagine the kid going, I am a perfectly normal driver. I'm not going <laughs> over the speed limit at all. As the officer tried to get out and talk to this driver, find out what's going on, the vehicle took off again. With the driver now speeding at over 120 kilometers an hour, a second officer arrived. They were eventually able to box the car, bring it to a rolling stop. Police were shocked to find an 11-year-old boy behind the wheel. He had just finished playing GTA at home and wanted to find out what it was like driving a car. GTA is not a... like No, my it's not. plays Gran Turismo, I think it's called. Yeah. And that's that, a driving game. It's just a racing game, yeah. And based on that, he would probably be a terrible driver because his favorite part is hitting things. <laughs> but when you hit things in Gran Turismo, you don't also get to run over a hooker and take her money. No, no. Why are you letting, you don't get to like blow up civilians for extra cash. Why the fuck are you doing, are you letting your kids play? The, you got to watch these. Thank God all your kid did was take a joyride. You got to, and I'm not. You could have murdered a hooker. I'm not blaming the game on this shit. That's like blaming, you know, an R-rated movie on this shit. Yeah, because yeah. clearly there's there's some this kid is left unattended way too much in yeah. general. Where the fuck are your parents? Yeah. Especially considering you were able to be playing GTA all night and then were able to abscond with the with car. The car. If 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 my ass was up all night 
playing video games, any video game. And then immediately the next morning, at a, when I was 11 years old, I managed to get away with the car. I would not be able to sit down ever again. I'm from a Southern Baptist family. It was not a good thing. I wasn't even allowed to have video games. I mean, damn. You gotta... Like, how tall was this 11-year-old? Because when I was 11, I was not big enough to operate the wheel and the pedals. You gotta watch your damn kids! They are sneaky little shits. They really are. They will. You you think you got a, a close eye on the little fuckers? Nope. You do not. Trust me, I lived with an 11-year-old for a year. Well, he was 10 when I lived there. But yeah. You have no idea the hijinks little boys can get into. You just have no concept. Oh, holy crap. Okay, last week we ended the show with a story that made people feel a bit squirmy. I told that story at work. The chopsticks? Yeah. Well, guess what? They were very upset with me. You get to upset them all over again. Awesome. How the fuck does this happen? Son of a bitch! Same country, China. Man gets USB cables stuck in his penis. You don't have a port up there, fellas. Oh, it's all bloody. Yeah. I guess it would be. USB cables can be used in many ways, but ramming it into a penis is not one we recommend. Let me get off the bloody picture and show you. That's the parts they had. That's how long it was. That's how much he had up his dick. Why? A man from China is thought to have been drunk while he started looking up ways of pleasuring himself. He got this particular idea from a video, and predictably, it backfired. The poor guy realizing his mistake when he couldn't remove it. The doctor who surgically removed the 20-centimeter cable said... He found a video online that taught him how to sexually stimulate himself with a charging cable, so he inserted one into his urethra. When the patient arrived, he was in an incredible amount of pain. All right, help me here, because as a girl yeah. who has girl parts yeah, on a girl, yeah. the urethra and the vagina are separate places. Yep. They are. Weirdly, not everybody knows that. So I might have just taught some of you something. Yeah. Like, girls do not pee and bleed out of the same hole. Yeah. BT dubs. With men, that's different. So, like, is this a thing? Because I cannot fathom a woman ever shoving anything up her urethra for fun. <laughs> I don't know. It's, uh, I, I don't know. Here's the other thing about it. Like, I get putting stuff up your butt. I get that. I, I'm just, the thing that's stuck in my head is I'm imagining him doing this and then plugging it into his computer and Windows trying to find drivers for that motherfucker. I don't know what, I, I don't think we make drive. Who makes this device? Okay, I've learned to do quite a few things online from videos. I've learned how to retolex uh, uh, an amplifier cabinet. I've learned how to uh, rebuild my guitar. I have learned how to do stuff to, you know, fix my car. I have never once thought, you know what? I'm going to look up how to do weird shit with my dick you on a video. Regular old masturbating is boring. I... This is... Somebody's just been watching way too much Westworld. <laughs> you don't have a jack up there. Yes, urination denial is a fetish. Look it up. Do you remember Avatar with the in USB? Fact, in fact, somebody did like a parody with SpongeBob where they put corks in all his little sponge holes and filled them up, and that's what that was parodying. Yeah. That's there's like fanfic. Trust me, it's a thing. But um what, you've never seen that SpongeBob? I haven't seen much if any SpongeBob. Oh, well, they they did a, I forget what it's specifically called, but yeah, there's a fetish where they plug your urethra and then you drink a bunch of water and I don't know. Stop jamming stuff up your dick. If don't, it's yeah, not designed, especially if it's not designed to be jammed up your dick. 
Because the thing is, like USB cables, I don't have one handy without unplugging my mouse, but y'all know what they look like. They're square. First of all, they have corners. Yeah. And you know, corner, and, and, and the thing you have to think about is, like, if you're putting it in, it has to come back out. And if you know, the thing about USB cables is they have reverse catches yeah. to prevent them from coming out. Yeah. Now, these are normally supposed to plug into some sort of port on a device, but they are also nice and barbed enough they can grab into flesh. Where, on the other hand, things that are meant to be inserted, because there are sex toys that are specifically meant to be inserted in your urethra because this is a thing, tend to have rounded edges. So that, because, like, you know, in movies, when someone gets shot with an arrow, why they don't pull it out? Because it's going to do more damage coming out because of the shape. Yeah. So that's why sex toys tend to be rounded. Ah, uh, for fuck's so sake. You don't tear your fucking urethra open. So I guess, I guess the first thing we learned tonight, if it's not designed to go in one of your holes, don't put it in your fucking holes! Don't. There are things that are made for that. And I know sometimes they're expensive, but your nooks and crannies are worth it. Because you only get one set. I just... You're not going to replace them. No, they're not. There's no warranty. You, you, go th you got one set of fun bits to go through life, and once you fuck them up, that's it. Don't fuck them up. We've learned you got to watch your damn kids. Yeah. Because if you don't watch your damn kids, they're going to steal your fucking car. <laughs> steal your car. You got to... After I'm, playing GTA all night. I am so glad Grady don't have thumbs. <laughs> That's all I'm saying. There are cats with thumbs. Hey, Grady don't got them. So I'm so happy. I don't... I, I, think, I kind of think Grady lacks the ambition to steal your car anyway. He does. He's lazy. I don't. I don't see him going on any wild car chase. He's useless. My he won't God. even. He won't even get a job. Daddy, how can you possibly still be hungry? You have eaten your dinner and Peggy's dinner and half a bowl of kibble, and you're smaller than Peggy somehow. We've learned that. Nail polish remover plus hair dryer plus cigarette equal boom. Fire! Stop don't that! Else, nail polish remover. Don't don't, do don't you don't be smoking while you're what the fuck what the mm -hmm. fuck? We've learned that maybe you shouldn't just hand out randomly burned DVDs to kids without yeah. knowing what the fuck is on there. Yeah. We've learned that eventually Purge Night is going to become Black Friday. They're just going to become one thing altogether. Very, very, you know, apropos. And what's great is it'll have a double meaning because everyone who eats too much on Thanksgiving can do one kind of purging and everyone who just wants to kill people can do the other. And finally, we've Economy learned... of language. And finally, we've learned you can't put a fucking straw goat up in Sweden because some motherfucker is going to burn it down. 50 years they've been doing this shit. 50. It's like their devil's night. I was waiting for this story to make it to Christmas so we could report on it. Didn't even make it a day. <laughs> Thanks, Sweden. You're fucking up my show. <laughs>